Okay, welcome to part one of the East Bay RC soldering course. In this section, we will cover some of the equipment and supplies you've got and talk a little bit about the soldering iron. We'll start by turning the soldering iron on. It'll turn solid yellow. That means it's heating up. When it's uh, flashing, that means it's at the temperature that you've set. If you're not sure of the temperature you need, 700 is a good average number. You see it heats up pretty quickly. You might have the soldering pencil style that doesn't have the base, but it just has the AC power off of here. That'll take a little bit longer to heat up because it doesn't have enough power, but if you let it heat up, it'll uh, work out pretty well for you. Here's a couple of the cutters that we've got, just, a, just what they call a diagonal side cutter for cutting wires. Here's a diagonal side cutter that's a little bit smaller. That's nice if you need to get into the board. And here is another cutter. It's got a cutter here and then the wire stripping holes here. You can see the gauges on there. Typically, this is where you want to use your eye protection the most, wear your, wear your goggles or uh, safety glasses, because when, they, when you cut, that it can shoot little bits of uh, metal into your eye, which you probably don't want to do. Okay, here's a little bit of wire, a little bit, a few connectors. In the, in the upcoming classes, we'll just be soldering a few scraps together. Here's a heat shrink tube. After you've done a solder joint, then you can put the heat shrink tube on top, and when you heat that up, it'll shrink and make a nice uh, insulation uh, for you. We've got some printed circuit boards and some headers. Basically, this is what you'll be practicing on. I guarantee if you solder a, uh, one of these boards full of headers, you will be a confident and competent solderer. These two things we'll cover later. They're used for uh, cleaning up. This is the, uh, the solder wick. This is the solder pump. It's just kind of like a little vacuum cleaner for solder. And this thing is called a helping hands. You'll use it to hold whatever it is you're soldering. Partly it makes it nice and stable, but uh, most importantly, uh, this wire heats up really fast because it's, it's uh, copper, and if you're heating it up this close, it's going to be uncomfortable to hold. So there's three reasons people think they're not good at soldering. Number one, they have a crummy soldering iron. Number two, they might have a good soldering iron, but they have a crummy tip. Number three, they're using crummy solder. Now, you should be using electronic solder. Don't use plumbing solder because plumbing solder has acid flux. Good for pipes, bad for electronics. You don't want to cover your electronics with acid and then have your projects eaten away. This is a good brand here. You know, there's all kinds of good brands. Just get, get a good name brand one. I've got it here in two sizes. This is 0.8 mm good for you know, bigger wires and stuff like that. Here's some 0.5 mm. It's kind of nice when you need to get in you know, to some, some smaller areas. Inside the flux, I mean inside the, uh, the solder is flux rosin. And what that is, it's basically a tree sap and you'll see here we're gonna we're gonna heat that up. You see that smoke coming off that is not that is not the lead or anything melting. That is just the rosin burning off, and that helps the solder flow you know, in, into the solder joint that you're making. It, uh, be sure, you know, almost all the electronic solder you, you get will have uh, the internal flux, and you know, just make sure that you've got that. Okay, let's look here. We take this out, well, if, if we would have looked at it uh, just a minute ago, you would have seen that it was the tip was kind of oxidized and not very clean. And so what you do is you might have a, a sponge on your base. You know, get that wet and just clean off your tip like that. That'll make it nice and shiny. You might have one of these tip cleaners, the Hacko tip cleaner. And this is brass with... Uh, with rosin so you can just kind of stick it in there and give it like a nice twist and it comes out nice and clean 
and shiny. If it doesn't come out nice and clean and shiny, your tip is no good and you won't have a bad soldering experience. Get yourself a new tip. One eighth is good for bigger things. One sixteenth is good. Uh, but in no matter the size, you know, you, you'll still be able to do it just a little, a little bit less convenient or more convenient. So we take that off, we clean it, we're ready to solder. And when we're going to put everything up, then just put a little bit of solder on the end. You can kind of see there, it's uh, on there. And then when you put that into the base, that uh, solder will be the stuff that oxidizes and it will keep your tip nice and clean and prevent uh, pitting and corrosion. Turn it off and you'll be ready for next time.